of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum kids. I hope all of you will be fine and enjoying your good health. And I hope that you guys are taking precautions to avoid coronavirus as well. Let's start our English lesson. Today we are going to start Broadway English for class 2. And today we are going to start chapter number 5. Before starting our chapter, let's discuss some of the sources through which we can get light. So, here first come on your screen is an electric bulb. I hope all of you are familiar with electric bulb. So, the next on your screen comes an oil lamp. It uses oil to give us light. The next candles. Candles also give us light. Torch. Torch is also a source of light. Table lamp. Electric bulb. I hope you are familiar with electric bulb. And energy saver as well. Nowadays, we guys use energy saver. Today's learning is electric light. It's chapter number 5 and page number 49. So, Let's start with the starter. Look at these pictures. What are these things and what are they used for? Which of them do you use the most in your house? Number them from 1 to 5. Okay kids, now we have to give numbers to these pictures. Let's mark these pictures according to their use. On the daily basis, we use energy savers. So, we are going to give number 1 to the energy saver. After that, electric lamps are being used in some of the houses. So, we are going to give number 2 to the electric lamp. After that, most of the time, torch is being used when we have to go outside and look for something. So, we are going to mark 3 to the torch. After that, we are going to give 4 to the candle and 5th number we are going to mark at oil lamp. So kids, we are done with these numberings. Okay kids, let's start the reading of the text. Can you think of life without electric lights? Many years ago, there were no electric lamps. When the sun went down, it became very, very dark. People were afraid to go out because it was so dark. In this paragraph, it is being discussed that many years ago means many years before there were no electric lamps and when the sun sets, it becomes really, really dark and the people become very afraid to go outside in the Dark. Lamps gave a little light, but it was difficult to read or do any work with an oil lamp. Now it is very different at night when it gets dark, we just put on, put on means switch on the lights, then it is like a daytime. We can read books or study our lessons. We can use the computer or watch television as well. The street lights are switched on, so it's not dark outside. We are not afraid to go outside. Electric lamps give us light to see in the dark. Do you know who made the first electric bulb? It was Thomas Alva Edison. He was an inventor. He made many new and useful things. He lived in America about a hundred years ago. Edison worked very hard to make the electric light bulb. Many people tried before him to make light bulbs, but their bulbs burned for a little while and then went bad. Edison found out how to make a bulb work for many hours. Now, when the sun goes down, Addison bulbs come on, they fill the world with the light. 
paragraph it is discussed that Thomas Alva Edison was the first person who invented electric light bulb before Edison many people tried to make the light bulb but their light bulb did not work for long now when the sun goes down Edison's bulb are switched on and fill the world with the light moving towards last paragraph when you grow up would you like to become an inventor too like addison and make new and useful things so guys would you like to become an inventor in your future indeed i hope all the points are clear to you people stay safe have a nice day